in this lecture we will be seeing another example of finding the regular expression for the given DFA. So here we have another DFA given and then we have to find the regular expression for this DFA. So here we see that we have states Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 where Q1 is the initial as well as the final state and then we have inputs A and B. So I've already explained the steps to find the regular expressions from DFA in the previous lecture. So here we will just solve it. So first of all what we have to do is we have to write the equations for each of the states. So let's start with Q1 which is our initial as well as final state. So how do we write? First check what are the incoming transitions to Q1. So this is an incoming transition coming from nowhere. So this can be written as epsilon plus and here we see that from Q2 there is an incoming transition with input B. So we can write Q2B plus and then from Q3 also there is an incoming transition to Q1 with input A. So I have to write Q3A and then there are no more incoming transitions. So this is the equation for Q1 and let me call it equation number 1. Now let's do the same thing for equation number 2 that is for Q2. So in Q2 we see that there is only one incoming transition that is from Q1 with input A. So we can write it as Q1 with input A and there are no more incoming transitions to Q2. So this is equation number 2. Now let's do the same thing for Q3. So for Q3 also we see that there is only one incoming transition that is from Q1 to Q3 with input B. So since it is coming from Q1 I will write Q1 and input is B. So this one let me call it equation number 3. And let's do the same thing for Q4. So in Q4 we see that there are incoming transitions from Q2, Q3 and also from Q4. So let me first write the one for Q2. Q2 it comes with input A plus from Q3 it is coming with input B, Q3, B and for Q4 it is coming with both input A and B. So we have to write Q4 with input A plus Q4 with input B. So this is equation number 4. Okay, so now we have written the equations for all the states. Now let us try to take this final state and try to simplify it. The final state is Q1. So that is equation number 1 I take and that is Q1. And what is Q1? Epsilon plus Q2B plus Q3A. Now we see that we have Q2 and Q3 over here and this Q2 and Q3's values can be substituted from equations 2 and 3. So let me put the values. So let me write here putting values of Q2 and Q3 from equations 2 and 3. So how can we write this? Q1 equal to this epsilon will be as it is epsilon plus now Q2 can be written as Q1a Q1a and this B can be written as B itself plus Q3. Q3 can be written as Q1b Q1b and this A I'll write it as A itself. Okay so now we get this and from here I see that I have Q1, Q1. So I can take out Q1 common. So epsilon plus, let me take out Q1 common. So what do I get? I get AB plus BA. Now if you observe this equation, Q1 equal to epsilon plus Q1 AB plus BA, we can see that this equation is of the form R equal to Q plus RP, where this Q1 is R, and this epsilon is Q and Q1 is R as we said and this whole term over here this is P. So this can be written as R equal to QP star by Arden's theorem. So whenever you have an equation of the form R equal to Q plus RP it can be written as R equal to QP star by Arden's theorem. So this is of that form. So let me write it in this form. So R is Q1 and QP star. Q is epsilon 
and P star. This whole term is P. A B plus B A star. So this is what we are getting. And here we see that epsilon into this term. So we have also studied from our identities that epsilon into any regular expression R is equal to R itself. So if you treat this whole thing as R, so this can be written as this term itself by that identity. So Q1 is equal to AB plus BA star. So here this Q1 is my final state. If you check in the DFA, we see that Q1 was our final state and we already got the expression for the final state in terms of the inputs A and B. So this is the required regular expression. This is a required regular expression for the given DFA. So this is how you solve this. I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.